Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Break Chesney's Computer. Thanks to our wonderful adventures, we've managed to fill up the last 20 gigs on my laptop here, and uh, we ran out of memory. Well, I hope you're all satisfied, because just for you, I went out and bought a $130, 1.5 terabyte external hard drive, so that should be enough uh, memory to serve us for quite a long time. I expect full payment from each and every one of you for this. I demand it. And if you don't give it, I'll come to your house and retract it in the form of blood. Okay, so let's start the episode, shall we? Where did we leave off here? Um, I guess we were in this, uh, I get, we were in Gullican, weren't we? Yeah, let's talk to some people. Okay, so the woman doesn't have anything to say to us. It's a quiet day, and you have found me at home, strangers. Can I assist you in any fashion? I... It is amazing how trusting you small folk are. With your door left open, you're an easy mark for thieves. Who would have the gall to steal from the small folk? None but the basest of villains or the rudest of fools. All others are welcome in their hearth and home. Hmm. Basest of villains or rudest of fools? Take your pick, we're one or the other. I really don't think the Flaming Fist has marks in this territory, so we're completely free to just steal as much as we want. Uh, they don't have any guards to call. <laughs> yep. So, um... Mark down some more opportunities to take things, because the halflings aren't going to stop us. Yeah, okay, I totally feel like the, the cr lowest creep in the world, but I don't care. We're getting stuff out of it. Alright, let's go. Later, halfling boy. It says halfling man, but he's the one who, like... We, we talked to him in the last one, right? He said something about being an adventurer. Looks like there's another gullikin home here. Huh. What are we looking at? Eh, five gold. They can keep it. Oh, another book. And for halflings, they sure read a lot. Well, I guess no one ever said halflings didn't read. They just said they preferred to stay in their homes and not really, you know, get into, go out and get into trouble. Or at least Tolkien's halflings did. Or hobbits, or whatever you want to call them. Hail and hello, welcome in my home. Welcome in my home you are, for now. Well, that's kind of strange, because every other halfling in this town has been really nice to us. You seem a bit hesitant, why should you bear me any grudge? It's nothing against you personally, just your profession. I've had kin lose their lives chasing some fool dream down a dungeon. It was someone like you that put him to it, though I can't though it can't be your fault. Welcome to our village, but kind enough, leave with the same number of people you arrive with. Huh. You're rather outlandish folk to be wandering round. Okay, well I guess I can understand that. Not everyone has to be happy and chipper that we're here. Although it's kind of a nice change from the normal people. Who are like, get out of my home, get out of my home. Of course, yeah, everyone has reason. It's not like they didn't have good reason to tell us to get out. Oh, is that an angel skin? We'll take an angel skin ring. Alright, all gold goes to Khalid. Or at least all treasure. Don't ask me why, it's just how it works. Potions go to Viconia, scrolls and magical items go to Chesney. Oh, Chesney's inventory is full. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Let's throw those up there and see if we can't throw an identify spell on this. Wand of magic missiles. Another wand of magic missiles. We have three now. Uh, Viconia can have one. Just because uh, I don't want it eating up more inventory space. Oh, no more identification spells. Yes. Alright, anything else? No, I think we got it all. Let's head out. As you direct. You know, I've never really explored all of Gullikin before. I kind of just zipped through Firewine and then headed out. I mean, who can blame me? After Firewine, you're not right. You're not really up to doing much of anything except going to an inn and uh, resting and never looking back at this place. <laughs> So we haven't been to Firewine yet, have we? Well, unfortunately, that's probably where we're headed. Alright, let's see what this building is. 
It's a uh, temple of Yandala and Alavander's wines. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. So, whoa, guy, hold still. It's like moving around so much. We've stuck a few kobolds before, but in Firewind they seem more organized. See, yeah, I already talked to somebody who said that. <laughs> I won't deny it, friend. I suppose you need a healing or some such to repair whatever damage he marched headlong into. Well, the provider provides and the provider protects, but don't you go messing up her handiwork anytime soon. And stand you away from her barrel as the ale. Little man watches over all, and he'll turn you out uh, on your ear if you damage a cork in this spiritual home. Yeah, <laughs> that'd probably be a constant threat to halflings uh, in a uh, temple with alcohol is, uh, the, the, uh, big folk of the world coming in and drinking it. Alright, well, Tabkey doesn't... Oh, what's this? Oh, no. No, we're gonna stay away from that for a moment. That secret door there. We'll come back there later. Maybe after we've explored the rest of Gullican. That, uh, that door leads to Firewine. <laughs> Let's not go there. Alright. Well, we haven't really ran into anything terribly important. Oh, this guy looks like he's a bit of an adventurer himself, despite being a hobbit. Well met, Traveler. Gondolar Luckyfoot, at your disposal. To what do your to what does our village owe the pleasure of your visit? Off to Durlog's Tower? Or have you already been and now you need your breaks and bruises healed? Many a wanderer comes uh to town nearly bled to death. Well, um Durlag's Tower? I'm not familiar with that. Let's see. Uh it is not Durlag's Tower. The tower holds no interest for me today. Not one I would rather explore your lovely village. Yeah, I'm interested in the Firewind Ruins. I can point you the way too. And gladly so, but I must warn you as well. There be many and odd things that roam through there, and I hear tell they be a touch more organized than your normal critters. But I hear many things. Just go to the basement of the winery. Oh, so the basement of the winery, he tells you that that's where you can get to the fire wine runes. I didn't realize somebody actually told you. Durlag's Tower, that wouldn't have been where we ran into all those giverlings, was it? Or is Durlag's Tower actually the, uh... That I know there's a tower out around here that was added in the Tales of the Sword Coast expansion. Maybe that's it. But I don't know. Guys! No! Just go! Oh, wow. Get in the building! Okay, well, in the meanwhile, we'll just see what we can find that's unlocked. Nothing. Nothing. And thirteen gold. You oh. What in the nine hells are you doing in my burrow home? I don't know why you're here, but my any assumptions you might have about my halfling hospitality does not apply. When an intruder breaks into my home, I kill him. Ha! <laughs> you kill us? Don't make us laugh, Shorty. Now you've done it. Done it. No one calls me Shorty. Yeah, you don't stand a bad chance. A ra er, a you just don't stand a chance. I'm sure there's a saying there, but I just don't remember it. All right, well, um, kind of feel bad, but uh, he attacked us, and there's a secret door here. Let's um, let's get a quick save. All right, well, nothing there. Um. Hmm. Some more gold and a potion. Let's toss these gems Khalid's way. You know, fire agates aren't really worth that much. Alright, just some random junk. Nothing really important that we grabbed there. Alright, and... 
We'll explore this ca uh, passageway that we uh, discovered here in the next episode, because I'm sure it will lead to much frustration and um, much pulling out of hair. So, until then, friends, you can look forward to it.